Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm playing kill in the top lane. Um, don't ask me why I wanted to play kill. So you guys are gonna watch kill, you know what I mean? So, why did I actually pick kill? I mean, they picked Garen first. I was second pick. Uh, so the enemies picked Garen and then it immediately went to me. Um, I just, I wanted to swap with my teammates. They didn't swap, so I just picked kill. I saw that my support wanted to play Braum, so I felt like kill is actually a good combo with Braum. And of course, Braum is a tank, so I could get away playing kill. And I feel like kill should be fine into Garen. I don't think Garen is the worst bully in the game. To be fair, he can bully me. Like here, he can use his first ability. So I'm gonna play it a bit safely. I may lose this minion. Okay, never mind. He used that here. And boom. Yeah, he's gonna hurt me here, but. You know, when you play kill, you cannot expect to not get hurt, to be fair. So all of this is fine. Yeah, he's gonna deny me farm here. He's 100% gonna deny me something at least. Get this. Yep, nice try, buddy. Nice try. I'm farming slowly but steadily. You can see I haven't missed a single minion yet. And I've only lost like 10% of my HP. He could take my heal here if he really wants to. Funny, he actually chooses to... He actually did a good job there. He did turret damage. I haven't lost a single minion yet, by the way. He did turret damage. And he attacked me. So it was a, actually kind of well played by the guy. Let's try to slow him. He, again, he got away with it. But I'm doing perfectly fine. I haven't lost a single minion. The wave is frozen on my side. I'm gonna put a ward here. Everything is... Oh, nice. He's taking free turret damage. There we go. Very nice. And the thing with kill is as well... If you don't have to use your third ability, don't. Like right here, I don't gotta use it. You know, before level 5, your third ability is a valuable resource to be able to last hit minions like this. Because of course, your melee range, right? So you don't want to use this all the time. You only want to use it when you have to. Like right here, I can step up to the minion, right? So I don't gotta use it. You can see this is actually a perfect early game on kill. I mean, of course, if I killed Garen, that would be even better than perfect. But that ain't happening, right? Like you're not gonna get a kill very easily. And then this one is really your last resort, your first ability, because it costs mana. And this is like suicide, going for it, because you're gonna take damage. If you go for it on the melee range, yeah, you're, it's not gonna be the best choice of me. Can I maybe kill him? Wait. I have ult, so I was ready to ult. I knew, you know, when he silences me, he doesn't have, he doesn't quite have enough damage. He's taking the heal right now, I'm gonna try to shove this fast. Not fast enough. Ah, okay, now I'm dead. Classic. Classic Garen outplay, guys. He just outplayed me. What can I say? He flashed. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, wait, let me check who their mid laner is. Well, I was like, maybe I need a... Maybe I need a QSS. Because like, then I can QSS the silence of the Garen and immediately ult him. I feel like the only way I can really reliably die to them is with the Garen ulti and the silence of course this is a huge kill though of course Garen dies because he did use his flash on me right oh my god look at keys oh this is keys by the way look at him going, going ham on that Braum I need to give you guys a Braum video too by the way I know that I missed that minion that's really bad don't miss minions on kill I can get one plate I think yeah one I'm gonna try to get two, but I'm likely not gonna get two. Actually, where is the Garen? There he is. I actually got two. This is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. He doesn't have ult, right? Yeah. It's still on cooldown. Yeah, I mean, I'm not winning that. When I get the Nashor's Tooth, which I can get now, I think I'm gonna win that. Like those types of fights. Try to deny him this. Oh my god, this Lee Sin is going ham. They're all in their jungle. Wow. Try not poke him with the Kraken Slayer here. Ouch. Yeah, you can see no damage at all. I'm doing like no damage. That's ult. Lee Sin is coming. And flash. And now Lee Sin is gonna get the kill. Nice and calculated. He's gonna try to flash to me. Oh. No way! Don't take my farm, bro. Come on, it's your fault. It's not my fault. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
I did my job. Lee Sin missed his ability. I'm running now because he, he has his ult now. He has ult and flash this Garen, so... I'm getting the hell out of his lane. No way. Okay, I was like, no way he's gonna catch me, right? By the way, guys, make sure you put down a comment under this video. Let me know your thoughts on this champion kill in the current patch. Uh, again, I'm giving away two skins on the main channel. Two on the... So, sorry, this is not the main channel. Two on the second channel and two on the main channel. So put down a comment under the video to enter this game giveaway. There's no way he kills me, right? Yeah. I mean, low-key, maybe he could have killed me. Like, honestly, maybe. It would have been close. Because Garen can tank turrets really well with that second ability of his. Like, now I'm actually gonna hurt him. Like, you know, now we actually will do some damage. Still nothing significant. But it will hurt. When I reach, like, level 12, 13, that's when I will actually get the little... I'm maybe dead here. Kill him before? Very nice. Huge Braum ability as well. I had to all in him there. Because if I if I just tried to run away, uh, he would kill me. So I had to I had to try to kill him before the Lee Sin ult ran out, before the Braum stun ran out. And it actually worked. So very well played to my team there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I didn't pay attention. I'm gonna shove this wave and go back. I mean, Keese is here, so... Feel a little bit more protected. So we can actually maybe... Probability ability doesn't cost any mana anyways. Yeah, we can take the whole turret. Maybe I skip? No way. No way. Oh my god. Wait, I can kill him maybe? Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh yes. <laughs> he has ult. Alright guys, he has ult. A very good lesson right there. <laughs> oh my god. Stupid Garen old dude. Like what an ability. It's such a stupid ability. Wait, come on her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, like I'm gonna destroy this Garen. To be fair, I'm going for the wrong item. Like I should have gone for Riftmaker. Would have done so much more damage to this Garen. Although like I'm building more towards the later game. I want defense against the Seraphine. So the Crown of the Shattered Queen is gonna be very good into that. Let's shove waves. Again, like, I don't really want to fight much. I just kind of want to get as much gold as I can, which means maybe this turret. Why not? Okay, she just took the whole wave. I can 1v1 Seraphim, by the way. I don't care about trading blows with this Seraphim. I am farming up. I skill harder to the late game than she does. And she's their support. So, like, I really don't care about farming like this. This is good for me. Uh, although, they can be here now. I'm just gonna go back. There's nothing else to do here, as you can see. There's no farm at all. I'm just gonna go back. I could have shoved... Yeah, th th that's why. I was gonna say, I could have shoved another wave. But I couldn't. Which is why I went back. Engage. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, what was that? He just ulted me. Honestly thought he was trolling. What was that? I would have survived this. Ah, my turret though. Oh, they took everything. He's fine. Oh, she has... Wait, she has Rylice? She has Rylice. Can this... This is pushing so much. I think that's my fault for not going back. I guess I should just stick in my lane. Can't rotate for a second. Garen just takes two turrets, man. What the hell? Ah, I cannot push her. Well, I cannot go back here either. I'm pretty sure they can either see me or... They will just face check. 
Um, the dragon is gonna spawn here. I'm just gonna take the heal. I'm not gonna go back yet. Yeah, they're gonna try to take it. I cannot. St I cannot stall any longer. They actually stole the Drake. My stalling work. Let's go, baby. So that was totally worth me dying. I I just wanted to stall them. I actually did escape, but Caitlyn just altered me. That was completely worth it, as you can see. Because now, now, as you can see, we have two dragons, which means the third dragon is a complete win condition for us. And me dying doesn't really matter. I mean, who cares about me right now? I'm, I'm kind of behind. So it was completely worth it. Stalling. If I didn't stall, they would have just taken the dragon. I would have been alive, but who cares about a kill early game? Especially a kill that's one on two, and now one on three because of my sacrifice. See, so like that, this kind of gives you a different perspective to the game, right? It's not always about killing enemies and all of that. You have to outsmart enemies, and sometimes, for example, an objective is going to be more important than a kill. So you suicide for the objective, just to waste time. You see how I literally gave my life just to waste like five seconds of their time. Five seconds, and that was all it took. Those five seconds saved it for us. Got us that dragon. Got us the second dragon. They are getting mid turret here. And the question is, do I suicide for this turret? It is not a good idea. But I'm gonna do it. Because turrets don't give you much experience. Like you can see, it does, it's not really a lot of experience. It just gives you good gold. And Kill honestly cares more about experience than she does about gold. So... The jungle, for example, is pretty good. I'm dead. At least I took the jungle. That's fine. They're losing farm. It's not fine. I don't even know how I'm trying to justify me dying like that. But, but like, look at look at my gold. It's really not amazing, but it's not bad. Like 9.5k gold, 11, 12 minutes into the game is again, it's not good. But look around you, look at the enemies. The enemy with the most gold has 10.1k gold. That's only 600 gold more than me. And, and and I've sacrificed myself as well before in this game. So like you see how how it's not even that bad that I die right there. It's obviously it's bad, but I got a turret, I shoved them wave into their base. I'm getting golden experience, and then if I die for that, it's okay. It's it's not not the end of the world. Boom, boom. Uh, I don't think I... Okay, 2v1 of course, yes. I don't think I can 1v1. He's on me! Okay, nice. Why is he ulting me though? Like, Why on me? It's not like I'm the most valuable champion in this game at all. It's like not even close. You should have been on, I don't know, the Sin or something. <clears throat> I'm not gonna take the red buff, by the way. Because our ADC is a lot better. Let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not quite sure about this 1v1. Okay, now I win. So that's the, that's the only way I win the 1v1 if I do that. But it's not always easy to do that. Yeah, see, now it's just easy. Oh, surfing. There we go. Triple kill, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm like... I... Oh. I didn't... I was about to click on ult. Ah. Oh. I should have preemptively ulted. My idea was, which is a very stupid idea by the way, I wanted to ult exactly when he went in, right? Like I wanted to be cool and do it exactly when he went in, but I can just ult preemptively. Why am I trying to be such a smartass? Uh, well, we won the game. Such a stupid smartass approach. <sighs> Alright. So let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. You guys saw a quick glimpse of late game kill in that game right there. So let's take a look. 
Yeah, I mean, it's 16 on 3. It's just 16 on 3. Actually, you know, not even bad damage. Considering, um, you know, I didn't really do... Didn't even feel like I did do much. So, thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah. Get out of here.